Hello everyone, my name is Michael SK and welcome back to 9 episode new. I really don't know how to start my intros for this one. It's the final stretch of the 9 series. In the first one, I believe we had our continuing encounter with Yoichi. And hopefully that isn't done. Hopefully there's a proper conclusion to it and there's a little bit more to, you know, his character and whatever he's trying to do whatever he's got really going on, because if this previous video that we just recorded was it, I'm going to be majorly disappointed in this series for that aspect. Nevertheless, I've spoken enough about that. We are technically in the episode one branch right now. And what's to come of this and I guess the remainder of this episode remains to be seen. But from what I've seen, this is just going to be covering some short stories with the four main heroines, and that's it. Tie any loose ends, and that is pretty much it. So we will get right back to it, and I'm very surprised that, um, uh, excuse me, I'm surprised that I can even remember anything because I haven't recorded for about a week or so, like anything at all. I've been out with a stomach virus, and that was a terrible experience. I do not suggest it. Oh, one more thing. Something I do remember is that the audio was a little fucky in the first recording. I think the sound mixing in this one is a little not right. It is not consistent in this one, which is very disappointing. So I have lowered the volumes slightly of sound effects and voices because I had to completely lower the volume of the game whenever I was editing the first video. So this one should sound a little louder overall, but I don't know if you guys will even notice. <laughs> Just letting you guys know. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna remember why she's actually best girl. Actually, I don't know who best girl is necessarily. I'm always jumping around. It's, it's really hard to choose a favorite here. I pull out two plastic bottles from my fridge and head to the living room. Oi, mocha. I actually don't remember what today is. I think we were waiting until like May 18th or whatever the date is to make sure that there is going to be no tomfoolery that we are truly safe. I place the bottles on the table and take a seat. And then, here she comes. We, well, we've seen this enough. We know the telling signs. Space splits and Sophie appears. She floats down and lands on the table. A familiar container plops out from her mouth. Honestly, totally fine. Is that how that works? Honestly, this whole shit has gotten so complicated uh, with the uh, utilizing abilities and whatever from other branches. Like Yuichi was able to.一番危険なアーティファクトだから。複素用があるのか。違う。効果自体が危険ってこと。アーティファクトを探すだけだろ。それが問題なのよ。千年前とは状況が違うから。なあ、really?千年前。もしかしてそう。千年前にも使ってる
スマホに GPS とかついてるしな GPS? 居場所がわかるそんな機能があるの I think the,、uh, the more technical terminology to use with phones is location services, and that is probably a little bit easier to understand, too. We're a society, what can we say? <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> There are a, quite a few big regions here in the world where we are monitored a little close compared to others. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there are the phones like on Breaking Bad where it's like you make your, you know, potentially illegal calls or whatever, and then you like break the phone. Yeah, セフィロトが回収する決まりになっているでもいるのよね勝手に作ったり勝手に自分のものにしちゃう人 well, there's many that like to go against regulations against the rules they want to have control over certain aspects そういう隠し事をしてくれるのねああやっとピンときた権力を持った悪い奴に圧力かけられてるってわけだその隠し事がバレないようにそうなるわねだから情報を伏せていたのは過干渉を避けるための私の判断ではあるけれどこちらの世界のくだらない政治のせいで十分なサポートができていなかったことは事実これからもおそらく十分にはできないだからそのアーティファクトはあなたが使って。私はそのアーティファクトの存在すら知らないということにしておいて。Honestly, it's been very interesting, sort of unraveling the complications as to why Sophie would never be as cooperative or, I guess, willing to, you know, give us information on certain things. In episode one, she definitely didn't tell us a whole lot, the bare bones, if you will. Episode two, we found out about some things, such as. The ability to actually, you know, completely cancel out a contract with an artifact. Episodes three and four, we learned even more, and, you know, obviously that led into the main antagonist. The list goes on. But I'm sure there th things go even deeper because, you know, similar to our world, I mean, there's probably a lot of things that we wouldn't want to explain to people from a whole nother dimension or a whole nother world, our secrets、ah, and such. Wakata. Even if it does help them in their situation. Oh, that happens. サポートの話であの時あの枝でこの前のように私がちゃんと力を使えていたらかけるくんの負担少しは軽くできたのかなって、oh, there's no point worrying about all that. まず第一にでももっと早く力の使い方を理解できていたらって、well, there's no point, you know, wondering these what ifs, right? 仕方ないわよアーティファクトは断片的にしか能力者に情報を与えないし空と遥かも力の本質を理解できていなかったノアくらいじゃないかしら最初からある程度扱えていたのは It's probably because it kind of connected deep within her like she 
sort of was able to connect it to a purpose. Where with everybody else, it sort of became a hassle to even have it in the first place. They kind of like pushed it away where she was willing to actually fully accept it. She was able to synchronize with it. Yeah, honestly, whatever Yoichi's fucking reasons were in the end for why he felt like he needed to do what he ended up doing, I don't know. I mean, we were in a position where it was kill or be killed. He was still not necessarily the main antagonist there. He was just the main obstacle at the time. I understand her concern, though. To have to kill somebody? I mean, that's terrible. But also consider what he did to us, you know? Doesn't make it okay to, you know, do it back to him or whatever, but... It's a rough situation. Thank Exactly. It's, it's exactly this. It's like pushing away a side of yourself, but once you fully understand that other side of yourself and you fully accept some, some sort of side of yourself that you kind of don't like or refuse, well, then you've awakened the power of persona. It's as simple as that.覚えてる契約直後は奪いたいものと同時に記憶も奪っていたのけれど契約から時間が経つにつれてあなたに余裕がない状況では顕著だったわね能力への嫌悪感から無意識に対象者の記憶を奪っていたのでしょうそうなの
はいそれと改めてお礼をありがとう私の過ちを正しく言っ you're all good and I keep on saying it too 何笑ってるのよ穏やかになったもんだなって思ってさこの枝ではかなりトゲトゲしかった穏やか勘違いしているみたいだけど私もイーリスよ Honestly, no. Uh, you are not Iris. Neko a o n a j i n a n o l e t a n de soko i j i g a w a r u i n o a h o n t o no a t a s h Iris is no more. <laughs> Dakara niya niya suru no yame na sa yo. Mukatsuku wa ne. Wari. <laughs> so you koto ni stoku yo. Mataku. I can't believe I got used to her voice <laughs> after all this time. Oh, yeah, I, gotta be, I gotta be completely honest with you guys. Her voice actor, like, she's, she's everywhere, kind of. She's in a lot of big series in anime. And, I mean, it, easy to tell who she was here with Sophie. But for like the past year, I guess, kind of just going through this series specifically has gotten me a whole lot more used to her voice. It's not as annoying as I. Thought it was going to be from the get go, and uh, yeah, here we are. I appreciate Sophie's character as well after all this time. <laughs> the voice helps. <laughs> oh, there will be no rush. Sophie softly floats up and disappears into the spatial distortion. In the future. Yeah, in the future. まだ危険なアーティファクトはあるかもしれないし気は抜けないけどでももう石化事件は起きないし、yeah, 街を混乱させようとする神様もいない解放されたって気がする<笑>そうだね She gently smiles but her smile quickly diminishes どうした気持ちの整理はちゃんとしたつもりだったけれどまだできていなかったんだなって。ああ、ジュスケベタン、ヨビオゲン。まとめてしまう。悲しいこと全部、なかったことにできないかって。Again, that's just something else that she's trying to shoulder, but だから、that just can't happen. Not everywhere, not in every situation. There are limits. Nice little、uh, spelling mistake there. Honestly, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you guys. I know we're only in the second recording session for this entire series so far, or a series of this episode, but、uh, man, this really seems shittier than the other ones. Like in various ways, like some mistakes in the.、Uh, And the proper outfits and backgrounds that were being utilized in the last video, and also the sound mixing. And I don't really remember this background here being as like low resolution as it is here. Like you can kind of see, like, a little, a little to the left of the middle point, you can see like the dresser just having like a really rough fucking time. It's a little disappointing. Well, alright. Don't really have a choice in that one, do we? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, honestly, the setup in episode 4 was really fucking fun. So, I don't know. I don't know. Miyako grins. I feel the urge to take her into my arms. But in this branch, those feelings are a nuisance. It's frustrating. I'm not sure if she's picking up on the weird vibe or if Miyako is thinking something similar. Damn, we've really put ourselves into a position where it's like, alright, no love for us in this one. But she's blushing and fidgeting. Oh no. 
That did happen. Oh no, 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 no. Why couldn't we have just kept it to that? I can only imagine what she's about to say to me. The thing is, this is the second person that has actually called us out on our bullshit here. Because Yugi did it too, in episode 4 at the very end. Because I'm pretty sure from the, uh... From the final fight, she was able to retain memories and such that Kakadu was unable to whenever he had returned to a point in the episode the episode four branch. So yeah, she she got to call us out on that, and we didn't really have a response to that one. I'm starting to sweat bullets. I don't even think we have a response for that one ever. Like there's just no way. Memories of it or not. Spit it out already. Might as well. A theoretical from the beginning, I get it. We both know how the other feels, but it's unclear it's unclear who feel or god damn. It's unclear who those feelings belong to. The fuck was I reading? Which is why she's saying we should start as friends. It's probably the most reasonable. I slowly shake my head. We have things yet to come. We have a future ahead of us. Having someone who can walk together with you? That sounds like a real joy. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. This branch has gotten a little complicated, hasn't it? But it is nice that we are returning to it and fleshing out a somewhat flawed branch and, and not flawed because of you know bad storytelling or anything but it's just in episode one there wasn't much to know we really were like setting up episode one to just kind of be that introductory tutorial episode if you will but now it's being you know provided a proper conclusion of sorts with everything else that we've gone through which is cool we exit my apartment and walk with one another yet again side by side all the while chit-chatting about things that'll be out of mind by tomorrow. We keep walking on. With our friends, with the people we care for, with our eyes looking straight toward the future. We'll keep walking on toward tomorrow. Alright. I like it. I respect it. I am all for it. And now we're back here. With Sophie. Hello. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd fucking hope it'd bring things to an end. I don't know what else could really pop up there. Artifact,の回収が残っているけれど、勢いで最後の観測なんて言ってしまったけれど。Oh, I'm not worried. Such as? How do we know things are over? Until we collect all the artifacts? I think we're really at that stage of it all where it's like, all right, now each of the main heroines get some, uh, get some time, and then that's it, and that seems to really be it. So we can choose which episode we'd like to go for. And honestly, I'm down to go in order, but if you guys want me to, like, you know, change it up or whatever, I'm willing to as well. Maybe for, like, the others, I can, you know, just choose a random number, one through three, but... I think for now we'll continue along episode one and we will uh we'll just kind of see whatever one I want to do next.
Or maybe I'll just go in order. I don't know. But what more do we have to do here? Sophie, you go. Because now we're back here. Everything's already been repaired. So, yeah, we've already read all this. Oh, wait, no, this is actually the, uh... Okay, so this is the finishing of episode one is where we're going right now. Like, like finishing it all out. Not the new direction that we created out of the bad ending. Oh, come on. Can we, uh, install some good old memories now? Yeah, this was such a disappointing end to episode one, guys. Right here. Nothing was fucking accomplished. Just the huge feeling that no, nothing, nothing was really done. And that we didn't really, like, finish this off. Yeah, what a relief, my ass. Miyako may lament there being another victim, but I'm just happy this chapter is over. Yeah. Whether this guy was the culprit or whether there's a new culprit out there in his place. Either way, the curtain is drawn on this mystery for now. As long as we don't pursue them any longer, Miyako should not be targeted again. Things have come to a close. Or have they? Regardless of the truth of the matter, it's safe to say that this is the end. It really isn't. It, this is so fucking far from the end. It is insane how far from the end this is. Where, When do we start installing memories? What the fuck? I mean, I'm, I'm fully aware that what is coming up is eventually uh, Miyako Kujo is going to begin to lose control of her abilities. That's actually where we ended episode one. I'm, I'm pretty goddamn sure. So where is this necessarily taking us? Why are we here? What are we doing? Ms. Narase instructs us to go home, saying that she'll take care of the rest, so we do just that. There's so much that doesn't sit right with me. But of course. Sora looks dissatisfied, and Miyako seems on edge as well. Still, there doesn't or there is nothing much else we can do right now. <laughs> I kind of forgot Haruka was not in our squad here in episode one. It was just us three and then Yuki kind of tacked on there at the end. Again, who would be? Here we go. Oh, into both of them. A massive amount of memories stream into my head. The events in the other branches. I suddenly understand everything. This was supposed to be an unsatisfying end, but... <laughs> Miyako smiles. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to remember. In a very similar fashion to Yuki where she was able to retain the events of the final fight and, and whatever else whenever she went back to that certain point in episode 4, was everybody else able to do the same? Like, was this something that we came across also whenever we were doing our first runs? There's no way, right? Like, there's there's no way. Miyako smiles again and I smile in turn. Maybe I'm overthinking that fact. Maybe maybe nothing is awry here. This shit is so goddamn complicated for no goddamn reason. Yeah, this ending still sucks because Takamine is still dead. I take Miyako's hand and hold it. Miyako gets bashful, but nods. Huh? 
とか言われそうだけどそうだねそれにこの間だと、nope. ユキさんとも、コーザカ先輩とも、We also owe Yuki a whole bunch of like ice cream or, or parfaits or whatever it is she likes. ミヤコ、just for helping us out。大体のこと、他の枝で起こったこととか、私のこととか、あと、他の枝では、Oh my god, this really has get brought up every time. Is this gonna happen in the other ones too? せめてるわけじゃないよいや俺そこら辺の記憶はなくて本当に本当本当本当にないそっか<笑>本当はちょっとだけモヤモヤしちゃってた私かなり嫉妬深いみたい yeah, you can be jealous all you want here but you've got the best case scenario 嫉妬させるようなことはしない絶対うん信じてる Miyako squeezes my hand back Miyako's soft palm is so warm, my heart can't help but beat fast. Yeah, sometimes a hug is really all you need. We stare at one another for a little bit. I follow my irresistible urge and embrace her. Ah,、oh, don't say that. That sentence there is enough to really just tear a man apart. Our greatest threat is gone. There have been, yeah, there have been a lot of casualties in this branch, but we must continue to live in this world. Sins, errors, everything we want to redo, we must come to accept and bear their weight. We will keep on living. Yeah, I mean, really, all that's going to change here in this branch. Is Yoichi isn't going to do anything. I'm pretty sure in all branches, well, not only is Iris just completely non existent. Okay, hold that thought. Not only is Iris completely non existent, but Yoichi's going to give up in every branch. He's not going to do anything. But I guess we've grouped the squad together here. <laughs> よろしくお願いします。確認させて。今回は生物の契約者を特定するだけ。その認識で問題ない。ああ。本格的な調査はソフィーにしてもらう。回収は後日だね。あ、いいよ。あげるあげるって渡してくれるといいね。だな。揉め事は避けたい。Yeah, but I'm sure it has to go deeper than that. I mean, it has to. I really wonder how we pulled those two on the left together here. Oh my god. Doesn't matter what branch we're in, we are that. On Yuki's signal, we start to advance. We proceed toward the artifacts reading. It's been two weeks, no, close to three weeks since we found the petrified Takamine. We're finally able to start recovering the artifacts. Yuki was wary of me in this branch, and Kosuka Senpai wouldn't open herself up at all. Plus, there were too many things they didn't know, like the evil eye, the, yeah, the evil eye user's identity or Iris. Well, thanks to that, it took me longer than I thought to get our relationships as close as they were in the other branches. It probably wasn't necessary to go through all that trouble. I could have searched for the users on my own. But it's not a logical matter. I just wanted to work on this with everyone. They're our friends, yeah. There have been casualties in this branch, which is why I want to be with everyone. I know it's a simple matter of self satisfaction, but that's what I wanted to do, no matter what. わからん。方向しかわからん。お昼前に見つかるといいね。終わったらみんなでご飯食べましょうよ。ご飯。あ、yes the、uh, the very important part。ご飯。あ、外食 NG な感じですか。い、い。Come on, Haruka. We got a. 私も一緒でいいのかな。Yes, we 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 are a a friend group here. ぜひぜひ。みんなで一緒に食べましょう。はい。ゆっくり行こう。
さすがにそこまで遠くないだろうし今のうちに話しておきたいことがあるん今日は契約者を特定するだけけれど万が一ということもある万が一戦闘が発生する可能性 Yeah, like I said, there wouldn't be a story if there's like shit not going awry here. Shit can very well hit the fan. Oh my god. We don't need to name them. We really don't need to name our abilities or anything. このままでは名前を叫べないさ、叫ぶ能力発動時に叫ぶでしょ No, you don't need to do that ちょっとよくわからないですけど勇気のあれかジオーダーアクティブ的なそう、それいや叫ばないでしょミヤコ先輩そういうタイプじゃないでしょねえ Yeah, the, the whole like You know, deal behind her ability is to do it in like a very secretive way. Not to give away what she's doing. That's how she was able to like get the jump on Iris to do what she did whenever we were about to have our fucking battle to the death with, with Yoichi here in the previous video. Like, she does everything without announcing herself. Unless she wants to, obviously. いいえっと、メリー、違った。メルクリウスそう。メルクリウスの指。What the fuck? メルクリウスの指。What kind of like Okabe bullshit is this, man? 盗賊の庇護者ともされている。It really does sound like something that he would name. クジョウさんの真の能力は支配なのでしょう盗むのではなく、徴収する。Yes. うんそうみたいであればそうね支配を決めたシンプルに行きましょう。Oh, well, what is simple in your book? レガリア。Okay. レガリアどうあ、王の証ですね。かっこいい。あ、か、かっこいいです。はい。めっちゃリアクションに困ったけど、とりあえず合わせておくことにしたミャコ先輩であった。And then there's you that had to narrate all that. You had to, you had to completely say that. Like, I'm pretty sure we were all like, aware of, of what she was getting at there and saying it. Oh no. We didn't Sora name her own artifacts? Her own abilities at one point? I, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's exactly what it was called, I'm pretty sure. That sounds very familiar. You are seriously wasting too goddamn much energy to, on, this, on this one thing. This is so unnecessary. Okay, but that's an official name. No, that's an official name. You guys can't just. You can't do that. Yeah, let's get away from that conversation. After forcing a change in topic, we proceed. Later, we clamor with some inconsequential chit chat again. It's starting to feel like a field trip. It's a fun and cheerful time. At least, it was, but I soon come to regret what I recklessly blurted out that we weren't that far and that we'd be coming up on them soon. And shit's about to go down, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe not. 
2時間くらい歩いてるんですけど。Should they have taken like a train somewhere instead? Like, was, was walking really the optimal way of going about this? 変化がないですね。距離の大きさと距離は関係ない。そんな気がしてきた。あ,あの、力使いますかいや、まだ距離がわからないんで。ああ、いや、でも。距離がわからないからこそ、使ってもらった方がいいと思う。なんか。Yeah, I, I was gonna say at this point, might as well. <laughs> Relying on all reliable. Miyako leads the way to the soba shop. I was gonna say, damn, she knows her way here. I'm tired and hungry. Yeesh, artifact recovery is tough. This is way harder than I expected. Yeah, it seemed a lot simpler whenever they were doing like the. Whatever mission was hinted at at the end of episode three. I think they were quite unsuccessful here. We come back from no man's land to Shiro Mitsugawa. We managed to find the user safely. We took a photo of them and checked their approximate location on the map. Once we let Sophie handle the rest, we'll know that user's identity in no time. Man, still, I'm freaking beat. Sophie needs to die. Yeah, I mean, we accomplished something here, I'm, I'd like to say. We part ways with Yuki, bringing today's proceedings for the Valhalla Society to a close. Wait, is she clued in on everything? We stopped by the bike parking lot to grab Miyako's bike. I explained the entire situation to Miss Narase after what happened to Takamine. Sophie even reached out to her and taught her how to use the world's eye. Thanks to that, Miss Narase has a grasp on the goings on and the other branches to some extent. I guess that makes some sense because Sophie also worked with her for things to come to the conclusion they were able to come to in episode 4. As we reached the shrine, my eyes happened to fall on that spot. Miss Narase never told us anything about what happened to Takamine after. No, maybe she doesn't know what happened herself. I just pray that he was at least given a proper service. Honestly, that poor fucking sap. And I mean sap, like, very literally. That guy's a fucking idiot. But, y you know what? There is no buts. God damn, Takamine, I wanted to really like you so many freaking times, and I fell for you, but you became so problematic just for the sake of standing up for Yoichi. Don't get me wrong, like, I, I want to help Yoichi out too, but not in that way. Like, there has to be, like, a sense to it. And I think we saw some of that in episode 3. But here, in episode 4, like, I, I don't know. That's all I can really do. Oh, Miss Narase is standing at the foot of the front shrine, waving us over. She's probably been waiting for us since I called her in advance to make sure it was okay for us to come over. We sit in a row under the eaves of the shrine. And here comes Sophie. At the same time, Sophie appears. I tell Sophie and Miss Narase about today. そんなに歩いたの。うわ、ついていかなくてよかった。距離はある程度正確に分かるはずだけど。他の枝では何でも器用に使っていたのに珍しいわね。使えてないってよりは多分認識が間違っているんだと思う。情報の処理の仕方っ
Well, the artifacts would have only spread here in, in this town, but it is easy for anybody to decide, yep, time for a vacation. So, I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 Wait, what if somebody here in this town actually got an artifact but they didn't live here? So then when they went back home, they just had a fucking artifact? No. I don't think that's how this works. That is correct, such as youth. So everybody should still be here in the vicinity. For the sake of the story, no. Okay, where's Yoichi? Well, we're really not gonna get back on the Yoichi plot, are we? If we're done with Yoichi, what a fucking bummer, man. Like, if he doesn't pop up in any of the other branches we're gonna be, like, visiting to wrap up the story, what a bummer. I pull out my cell phone and show her the user's photo at the end of the map. Excuse me. Alrighty, so she'll start doing her, uh, her information gathering, which, from past experiences, does not take a whole lot of time. Sophie tears open space and disappears. Now we just have to wait for her to report back. Yeah, a lot of walking. Yeah,あの、手伝わないのに口だけ出されるのは鬱陶しいだろうけど、危ないことはしないようにね。はい。十分に気をつけます。よろしい。それじゃあね、また学校で。はい。お邪魔しました。We stand up, bow and exit the shrine. Solid day's work, I would say. 途中まで送るって言おうと思ったんだけど。ここからだと逆方向になっちゃうね。それはいいんだけど、多分俺あんまり喋れないわ。だな。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ
神聖な場所でみだらなことすんな帰れー Oh, come on あはい、失礼しますかけるくん、ま、またねお、おまたほら、発情期の猿も帰れーひでえな、帰りますって She's having her moment, you know, her moment to shine Miyako gets on her bike and pedals off as I turn my back to Miss Narase and walk home. Something about this doesn't sit right. She was scoping out for the right time to butt in. I know it. Well, of course. Again, that was her time to shine as an instructor. So she can stand up and, you know, be all, you know, authoritative and whatever else. Goddamn, we're in June now. And we will end the recording there because I think we recorded enough. Well. There we have it. We now have a、uh, we have a few, I guess, scenarios to go through, and I'm assuming that's pretty much going to be it for this. There really isn't much to go through, and I mean, I hope that we get you know more out of whatever the fuck it is that we're going to be getting out of these scenarios. But if not, it's just oh well, we're just wasting our time, I suppose. But I mean, it's more nine. This is the absolute end of it. And I know that at the very end of it, it's going to be a little heartfelt because it's been, it's been a journey. So for now, we'll savor it. We'll get through it. I won't complain. Even so, so far, it doesn't seem like there is much else to, to really gain here. But it's more, it's more situations, more time with the characters. What more can you ask for? Obviously, other than a story, but. The characters are fun. They're what really made this a whole lot of fun to go through in the first place. Anyways, thank you all for tuning into this one. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.